with the crown gleaming just beyond the horizon. One final challenge looms ahead for Williams and Peta as he buys for a COVID title shot. Tevin Former emerges as a measuring stick, a precursor to the looming showdown with Shakar Stevenson. While the styles diverge like rivers winding through a landscape, certain striking similarities bridge the gap between the two. Both southpaws share a pronounced affinity for technical boxing, each weaving their own distinctive threads of skill within the square circle. Zapata prepares to navigate the intricate dance with Former. Oh, no, there's a big left hand. Knowing that this encounter will be pivotal in showcasing his worth and sculpting a strategy for the greater challenge that lies ahead. In a world where every match tells a story, this one is destined to be a chapter of lessons learned and a testament to the art of Mexican style boxing itself. In the timeless duel of classic boxer versus pressure fighter, a matador facing down a bull, Williams Zapata finds himself under the spotlight. This belt will be his audition, a crucible where his performance will be scrutinized, determining if he has what it takes to ascend to the grand stage. Line here, live from the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, scheduled for 10 rounds. Zapata's approach is anything but scientific. It's raw and unapologetically punishing, embodying the bloodline of a classic Mexican style fighter. Forget the intricate footwork, clever angles, or elaborate setups. He charges forward like a battering ram, intent on busting through the front door with the no nonsense mentality embracing the primal essence of boxing, favoring power and determination over finesse. Entry into the boxing space when a face left hand on the inside from Paul Rawl at this weight. We've seen him for a number of years fighting at 130. He looks really good at 135. Nice body work. Former is a quintessential trickster, a slick and elusive boxer who plays a dangerous game. He'll stand right in front of you, presenting a tempting target, inviting you in to swing. Yet, here's the catch. If you bite and miss, you'll quickly find out the price of your mistake. With cat-like reflexes and a cunning smile, Former is poised to make you pay dearly for every errant punch, turning your bravado into vulnerability in a blink of an eye. Former thrives in a pocket, a master of a close-range game. With subtle shifts and death rows, he leaves the front door open, on you closer then dodges your swing by a mere whisper of space. It's a delicate dance that lures you to overcommit. And just when you think you'll find your mark, he slips away, leaving you off balance of right for a counter. Like a hunter setting his traps, Former exploits the slightest lapse, turning your aggression against you. Any lulls in the action? Former lost his idol. Zapata, being a swarmer, was unloading everything from his offensive stockpile, determined to break Former down. But in a split of a second, the tables turned. As Zapata stepped in with a hard jab, Former slipped to the outside with his feet firmly planted on the ground, then came right over the top with the perfectly timed left cross that sends Zapata crashing to the canvas. As Zapata didn't see that coming. The shot you don't see coming is the shot that hurts you. The firefight erupted, and in the chaos, Former emerged the sharpshooter, a sniper who understood the art of patience. With no shots wasted, he only pulled the trigger when the openings emerged, and Zapata wasn't hard to find. It was all in the timing, whether if it was when Zapata stepped into the pocket or catching him between the combinations. Former's punch placements was on display as he was consistently landing the cleaner punches in the midst of exchanges. They're not accustomed to facing each other, you know, lefty versus lefty. And switch it. Farmers all southpaw. So we're talking about a sniper. We're talking about an expert at being a left-handed. No, Chris. Now he knew his experience would matter in a big match. Oh, and he tries to show a chin against this type of onslaught. Times we know that we know him as a pure boxer, but he also has guts. A close fight, but a head by a round due to the knockdown. Former maintained his composure, 
Meanwhile, the Mexican brawler was undeterred, clinging to his game plan. It was his only path to redemption, to fight his way to victory. The Swarm's style is unforgiving, as it demands both supreme conditioning and ironclad durability. It was a gritty dance of give and take, where the price of engagement meant enduring punishment while heroically pressing forward. In this brutal exchange, victory hinged on one simple truth, the ability to inflict more damage than absorb. The grueling pace of the fight was beginning to bear fruit. As the 8th and ninth rounds unfolded, the younger contender capitalized on the fresher lungs, outworking the 34-year-old former whose energy was visibly waning. The pressure fighter, unwavering in his assault, displayed a daunting high punch output that showed no signs of letting up. Recognizing the urgency, Zapata pushed harder, determined to seize these final rounds, knowing full well he needed to compensate for the knockdown that he suffered in the fourth round. In a fiercely contested fight, Zapata narrowly edged out the victory with a split decision, winning by a single round on two scorecards. Despite former landing the cleaner punches, Zapata maintained an intense pace, averaging 19 more punches thrown and landing 7 more in each round. This decisive win now positions Zapata for a title shot against Shakur Stevenson. While the Mexican brawler might not possess any explosive qualities that set him apart, his durability and high punch output have earned him respect. However, the question remains. Would that be enough to pose a threat to Shakur? It seems unlikely. Shakur is a master of distance control, and after witnessing how effectively Tevin Leno is a painter, this matchup could serve as a stage for Shakur to showcase his offensive brilliance. It might just be the performance he desires to thrill the critics of calling him a boring fighter. Between Zapata and Farmer here. It's kind of hard to judge. Farmer landed some big power shots. What a performance. Well, Hano had way better CompuBox stats, but in the end, they...